Why, why is there a need for metabolic regulation? It is needed in order to maintain the internal environment in the face of changing external circumstances, taking into account the differing needs and abilities of cell types. What are regulatory enzymes? Enzymes whose activity limits the rate of flux through a particular metabolic pathway. At which points in a metabolic pathway are regulatory enzymes usually found? At the beginning or just after branch points? In what two main ways are regulatory enzymes controlled? Short-term controls and long-term controls. Which types of proteins are controlled in order to regulate metabolic pathways? Enzymes, transporters. List the type of regulation that affect enzyme concentration. Transcription, mRNA stability, translation, degradation. List the type of regulation that generally have rapid control and short-term effects. Location, covalent modification, allosteric control. In which sort of situations would it be useful to have slow methods of regulation and why? Metabolic situations that have advance warning, e.g. puberty, because it would be wasteful to synthesize proteins that won't be needed for a long time. In which sort of situations would it be useful to have fast methods of regulation and why? Metabolic situations that change within seconds e.g. rest to exercise transition in these cases. Waiting for the processes of transcription, translation etc. would take too long. What do fast methods of regulation involve? The proteins for these metabolic situations are made but kept inactive until they are needed. What can the type of metabolic regulation be a good indication of? The immediacy with which the protein in question must respond to metabolic challenges. Why do cells only transcribe a subset of genes as opposed to the full genome? They only need to transcribe the genes that are relevant to their function. It allows cells to behave differently in the same situation, express different receptors for hormones or different versions of the same enzyme so that metabolic pathways can be regulated differently. How can mRNA stability be changed? By regulating the rate at which the mRNA is degraded. How does mRNA stability and translation regulate proteins? 
their regulation can have an effect on protein concentration. How can proteins be tagged for degradation? They can be tagged by ubiquitin which targets them for degradation in 26S proteasomes, or some are broken down in lysosomes. What does ubiquitin do? It targets proteins for degradation in 26S proteasomes. What is protein turnover? It is the combined and constant processes of transcription, translation, degradation that occur. What does having a short half-life mean for a protein? It means that its concentration can be chiically increased or decreased to meet the needs of the cell. Give examples of two enzymes that are regulated by changing their location. One, blood for kept in vesicles inside the cell signal from insulin causes the vesicle to fuse with plasma membrane inserting blood for on the membrane. Two, glucokinase is translocated from the nucleus to the cytosol when needed. What is covalent modification of proteins? It is a stable way of modifying a protein's behavior by covalently attaching another molecule to it. It causes the structure of the protein and hence its function to change. What is the most common form of covalent modification? Phosphorylation. What do covalent modifications and undoing of the covalent modifications require? Enzymes. Where on a protein does phosphorylation usually occur? On the hydroxyl of serine residues, but also 3 and 9 in tyrosine. How quickly are the effects of covalent modification seen? Within seconds to minutes. What proportion of a cell's proteins can be modified by phosphorylation? Up to half. What enzymes catalyze phosphorylation? Protein kinases. What enzymes catalyze dephosphorylation? Phosphoprotein phosphatases. What do cascades of phosphorylation play an important role in? Signal amplification of hormones. What effects can phosphorylation have on proteins? They can activate or inhibit proteins. What is the particular amino acid sequence on a protein that kinases and phosphatases act on called? Target sequences. What is allosteric control? Reversible, non-covalent binding of effectors to enzymes resulting in activation or inhibition. How quickly are the effects of allosteric control seen? 
seconds, milliseconds. What are the two states between which allosteric proteins are in equilibrium? T state, R state. What is the T state of allosteric proteins? The tense state when it does not bind substrate well. What is the R state of allosteric proteins? The relaxed state when it binds substrate easily and hence is a more effective catalyst. What effect does a stimulatory allosteric effector have on allosteric proteins? It pulls the equilibrium position towards the right so that more enzymes are in the relaxed state. So that more enzymes are in the relaxed state. What effect does inhibitory allosteric effectors have on allosteric proteins? They pull the equilibrium position towards the left so that more enzymes are in the tense state. So in the tense state. What are most allosteric proteins? Oligomers. What is an oligomer? A molecule that consists of a few molecule units. What can act as an allosteric modifier? The substrate of the enzyme. One substrate binds to the R state of one of the subunits of allosteric protein. What effect does this have on the R state of the other subunits? It stabilizes the R state. How would you describe the relationship between initial rate and substrate concentration? Sigmoidal relationship What is the RESU?